Well, we started out pretty rough, uh, you know, giving up three out of uh, the first five weights, giving up pins, four out of the first five weights, giving up pins, and, and really in the end wound up costing us the duel there, you know. Um, <clears throat> that's, the way it, that's the way it goes. Uh, guys, really, overall, we wrestled, you know, six matches, pretty – I'd say five matches, pretty tough, the last five matches. Uh, got a win at 149s that we were losing there and came back and got a fall. So that was a good good comeback win for us there. And and we lost one at 133s, kind of like that as well, where we were, felt like we were in the driver's seat and wound up getting pinned with 28 seconds left or so. But, you know, I mean, you look at the silver lining of it a little bit. You know, um, I still feel like we're we're peaking right now. Um, we're still, you know, we get Peyton on the mat this weekend, and, and really we feel like this is going to be our best team of the year. Um, when Peyton was going earlier, in, you know, Christmas there, we didn't have green in the lineup and a couple other guys moving around. So we feel like this is our best lineup going into the regional, regional tournament with the most um, um, <coughs> experience that we could possibly have right now. Um, but, you know, when, when you look at the beginning of the year, we were, you know, ranked third at, at the RMAX, and to wind up third, or let me back up. Cut. Um, we were we were sixth in the conference, voted sixth in the conference, wind up third. I think we've made some headway there, and and feel like that we could be in the, you know, in the top top three, top four at the regional, you know, and who knows what happens from there. So. Speaking of the regional, uh, just a quick outlook on that. You know, I mean, right now it probably looks like that we'd, you know, if we were to qualify from the regional precedes a little bit you know we'd be four and five guys right in there right now some guys got a lot of work to do in there some guys have more work than others but uh you know nolan and, and peyton look like they're right around in that two and three seed and um you know still need to wrestle well and all that there's good tough kids but you know feel pretty good about it i mean you know um again guys are guys are wrestling well guys are working hard and getting peyton back and and our health wise in the room is as good as you kind of kind of be this time of year so you know, everybody's dinged up and that, and uh, you just hopefully you've backed off enough in the last week, two weeks, and all that to, to keep them healthy and, and be ready to go. Question? Well, Peyton, you backed off for the last, what, seems like two months? <laughs> you know, I mean, has it been kind of frustrating or just, I know, just kind of bide my time and make sure I'm getting healthy for regionals? Yeah, I believe it's always frustrating. I mean, it's one of those things that I've gotten – unfortunately fairly used to having to deal with but it's one of those things where it tests your mentality and it goes back to how tough you really are mentally and me and my coach here we've discussed multiple times like what process we're going to go through and what we think is going to be the best plan and we followed that plan we followed that track and I think it was a good idea and I think it's going to lead to the regional for some good results. So obviously you're, you're rested I know you've been working a little match rusty but are you getting enough match type work that you think you're 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 ready to go yeah i mean it's one of those things where matt rust comes and it's one of those things where i've wrestled with enough of the guys in the room i'm getting a lot of good looks from the guys we got a lot of tough guys in there and so i'm not feeling rusty i'm feeling really good walking in right now i'm not worried about it not worried about my conditioning or anything along those lines we've been working hard and we've been doing all the right things Unfortunately, you have been through the, the injury bug you know, pretty much every year. You feel like, okay, this is, this is the shot. We've done everything I can, and yeah. you, know, you know it's there for you. Yeah, you know, it's just my last run, and excited to go out there and give it the best I have. There's no dwelling on the past or anything. I'm just looking forward and excited for the weekend. Say, Nolan, your season, I mean, you've just been – kind of the steady Eddie, seems like every match out. What what has worked for you this season? Um, Really, it's just it all comes together. It's, you, you try to put it all together towards the end of the season, and um, it really is coming together. And it's the hard work is over, really, from, from the beginning of the season to now. And it's just putting it, the matter of putting it together and getting to where you want to be now at the end of the season, you know. So you've got to be really confident going in with the season you've mm -hmm. had. You faced, I'm guessing, a lot of the guys that, that you'll face in the regional. Yeah. You guys have seen pretty much everything out there to go in and get to nationals. Yeah. I mean, 
no matter what at regionals, everybody's gonna wrestle different. The record's zero. Everybody's record's zero and zero. You gotta beat them all anyway. I mean, you're gonna see the same guys throughout all these years, and you just gotta wrestle like you know, like like you're supposed to, and just go out there and win. You hear a coach say that this is the best team of the season going into really at the regionals. Mm -hmm. From your perspective, how ready is this team? I think we're ready as we ever will be. I mean, it's been a We've had a good year, working hard at every practice. Um, finally got everybody somewhat healthy, and I think we're ready to go more than we ever could be. Mm -hmm. Coach, do you buy expectations? Do you guys like Fred, Seth, Donnie, Nolan, think you guys can really perform? Oh, yeah, there's, there's big expectations. I mean, I think, yeah, I mean, these guys are seasoned wrestlers. I mean, they're, you know, even though they're relatively young, they, they're second year of varsity, a lot of these guys. You know, you look at even, if for an example, at a, uh, you know, Hunter Mooring, heavyweight, you know, fighting the weight deal a little bit because he's so small, 215 to 220. He's really peaking, right, and beat a guy last week that he's never beaten, you know. And so, you know, that's just one example of our team, and we feel like we're, we've backed off right at the right time, you know. Um, I, th I think that uh, the guys are just, they're just ready to go. I mean, we, we fr uh, Friday's practice, pretty good practice. Saturday, pretty good practice, hour plus, hour plus, two hours, somewhere in there, okay? <laughs> Yesterday, way backed off. Right now is just keep them healthy. Try not to get them something silly like a concussion or something that would, you know, cost them, a, you know, all of a sudden that's, that's putting them out there, putting them out of the mix, you know, or a tweak knee. They're just trying to stay healthy, but still trying to, you know, keep keep their conditioning up and all that stuff. Keep their get their heart rate up and, and go, you know, working through technique and all that. So but I feel like they're I feel like we're we're good right now. I think the team unity is awesome with this team. We've built a lot of that with some of the road trips we've had and, and all that. I just feel like we're just we're just ready to go in there and do what we can do, you know. And you know our motto is is to put do a lot of little things during the year. And, and, you know, you've got to do a lot of those things from when season was over last year to make the big things happen. You know, you, you talk about Nolan and kind of where he's had some setbacks this year. No doubt wrestling's up, up and down all year long, and, and what you want to try to be doing is, you know, hitting that at the end, and that's kind of where Nolan is. You know, he's had a few setbacks, and then he, he capitalizes and, and keeps getting better. You know, Peyton, uh, we're talking about him a little bit, and he's mentioned it, you know, our plan kind of trying to work through the plan and, and sometimes we may disagree but we wind up to agree what we think's best for Peyton and and that's that's where we're at right now you know one team on this deal and and uh, we we no doubt want to you know Peyton's one of our most successful wrestlers and and we want to see him you know finish out as strong as he can possibly finish out and that was part of the steps we took where he didn't have many, many matches this spring so I'll say that had to have been hard because I mean you know he, he's looking at you know, you want him in, but you want him healthy. I mean, that's that's a delicate balance to. Well, you get greedy as a coach. You know, you want to you want to win, and you know what Peyton can offer. You know, I mean, he's he, he's a pinner, and and so you get greedy as a coach, and then and he's even backed me off a couple times, saying, "Coach, I, this is my last shot." And I'm like, "Yep, you're right. I need to I need to keep that in mind, and let, let's let's go in with this one last shot." And and so, like I said, you get greedy as a coach and want to win duels and do that, but in the end, everything's practice until this tournament. It really is, you know. And that's what's nice about wrestling is you can go into the regional tournament one and fifteen, and and still have a chance at qualifying. Not many sports you have that opportunity. Then with wrestling, you do, Ooh. if you can still make the team. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you, mm -hmm. you can go in there, okay, if we can get two through. I mean, you've mm -hmm. got five, six guys mm -hmm. who have a legitimate shot. Yeah, I mean, even I, more. You know, oh, yeah. I mean, there's, you know, if you looked at it and you go, okay, these four or five guys are, I mean, sitting real good and, and just going to wrestle like you can, then you've got the next two, maybe three, that have a good shot, you know, have still some work to do, and then you've got some two, three guys that really need some work to do. You know, get get through that that final push there. So, but yeah, I think I think if you looked across, so anything can happen. I mean, Paco Rotana won it in 2012 as no seed, and he won the regional, won the Armax actually at that time. But you yeah, know, anything can happen, and pinned guys at 15 pointed him during the year. So anything can happen at, at this tournament for sure. No, you got fifth last year, right? Yeah. And so you said at this point in the year, there's nothing more you can do conditioning. 
mental experience or motivational experience? How does this time of the season really progress, and how do you approach this time of, of regionals? Um, really, at this time, it's all pretty much my, it's a mind game um, for yourself. Um, if you know you're ready and you've done the work, you'll, you'll know. And last year, I definitely used that as a, as a learning experience because it uh, didn't go quite the way I wanted, but this year I'm, I'm improved on that and know what I need to do different. Okay, question of the week. Mm. Oh, Lord. Spring break, money is no object. What is your dream spring break vacation? Go. <laughs> Me? <laughs> I'm already going to Cancun, so that's where I'm going. Crawford. <laughs> 